All right. This section is going to cover mounts and stages for all of your uh, invert zoological needs. This is going to be pin mounted, point mounted, and shooting an ethanol, as well as some of the larger material you may have that you're just going to lay on the base plate. For starters, we need a foundation, so we need something on top of our coffee stand. For that, I've made this. It's a solid acrylic table. It's three quarters of an inch thick, three inch long legs with felt pads. This gives you something to mount onto. And there's another function. It slides around real easy. You can put your specimen on there and locate it. Another function, the reason it's raised, is that if I have a specimen, and I'll, I'll just quickly put a specimen up here on a, on a slide with some wax to show you. If I have a specimen here, I've got a fly uh, sitting in a, in a little dollop of wax on a pin. So I can shoot straight down on it and there's no background to it. But you'll see this. Now, I can slide a white piece of paper, a gray piece of paper, a blue piece of paper, doesn't matter, behind it and the paper is out of focus. And the shadow, any shadow from lighting this is out of my field of view. So it's super important having this raised up off off the base as our as our foundation so that's it for that it's a it's a really versatile thing you can put any color paper underneath it without disturbing the specimen what we have found over the years of shooting is that the most accurate background is a neutral gray because in a variety of specimens neutral gray is not something that naturally occurs on any specimen in nature so you can you can knock out your background without taking uh, parts of the insect off. Um, black CD, white CD, they all show up perfectly on neutral gray. So this is a 25% neutral gray card. It's made out of aluminum with a tiny hole in the middle. And that hole is so that you can simply put your pin right in here. You don't need any wax. It's all self-contained. You can move it on an angle. You've got a big enough hole to where you can put it on an angle and tweak it and turn it. You can use a stereoscope to get your specimen exactly parallel to a focal plane, lift it off, put it aside, and know that it's absolutely ready to shoot. Now, the important part of neutral gray, this is a Pantone neutral gray, so that when I go into Adobe Lightroom or if I go into Phase 1 Capture 1, with a single mouse click, I can touch that background and it automatically adjusts because I've told it that's neutral gray. I am now absolutely color accurate. So all the colors on my specimen are going to show up accurately. You don't need to put in a color checker anymore. You don't need a neutral gray card because this is a neutral gray card. In fact, this is an extremely accurate one because it's powder coated on aluminum. Unlike the cardboard cards that are commercially available, these don't deteriorate over time. So if you have a really big Thing, like a giant lep or something, we make a big one. So you can put that on there as well. This has a, a little pad in the middle and four, four on the corner so you can pin to it. So what I'm giving you is I'm giving you two of these four inch pads and four even smaller ones. So when you've got some really tiny stuff, you can pre-prep it, you can pin it in here, put it under your stereoscope, make sure it's absolutely level and put it aside. You can stack them up. Really convenient stuff. It is super consistent, and once you start shooting with these, you're going to see that making plates is a piece of cake. So that is that. The next step in, uh, I'll be detailing all of this as you watch me shoot and set this up. You're going to see how these are applied. I'm giving you the physics on what makes them work, so you can understand better. This is a this is what we call the convertible. This is black and gray. And the reason this is kind of cool is a lot of times you'll end up with a specimen. Leps are a good example because they're big and they've got these wings that, that create incredible shadows. So if you have your lep sitting very low to your, your background, like if I had this little post here and I had a big lunar moth sitting in here, you, you see a shadow all the way around it. So what we do is you can put a longer post in there to raise it up even higher, mitigating the shadow, and shoot this way. So you, can, you don't see this post when you're shooting straight down. It's obscured by the insect. So all you see is your insect on a neutral gray background. 
Now, another thing you can do, you don't just have to, it isn't, isn't just, just insects. I can take that little post and I can put a little dollop of, of wax on the tip of it and I can take something like this. This is a fruit bat skull and I can take a little tiny bit of wax and I can sit it in position here and I can set it up just where I want it on that post and shoot down on it. It's super easy. This makes a really clean thing because you're seeing the skull all lined up and if you want to do laterals, you can do the same thing where I can show just the teeth by setting this thing up on a lateral. Look at that. So that's how easy that is. So anyway, that being the case, this is a very versatile little clamp, if you will, but it gets better because when you think you want to shoot a black background, one of the big problems with back, black backgrounds and everybody runs into this is they're somewhat reflective. You end up with some kind of reflection or spectral highlight in this that you have to go into Photoshop with a rubber stamp tool or a paintbrush and get rid of it. This you don't. This is the most incredible photon gobbling velvet in the world. So I can put my black post on this black velvet and I can put my black fly. <laughs> no, I wouldn't use this for a black fly necessarily. What I would use this for would be a very colorful thing like a Buprestid beetle or an orchid bee with the metallic colors. They really show up great on a black background. But you get the idea that you can mount this on here. Now I can use something like the uh, cylinder diffuser we talked about earlier, put it over there. It's a no-brainer. You can't miss. It's a perfect inky black background. So that's it for the convertible. Lastly, and I'm not going to get too much detail, but better show you this when I'm shooting in ethanol. There are some techniques to prepare the Petri dish to bond to the plexiglass, but when we want to shoot in ethanol and have a black background, we're going to use a special plastic back and we're going to bond it by putting ethanol between the petri dish and the plastic. I will go through techniques on how to mount this with uh, KY jelly and, and, and different things to make it to make your small stuff stick where it's supposed to. And lastly, when you have to shoot something really big, I, I really recommend that you invest your, for your studio into some larger pieces of paper, gray, uh, like a light gray, a medium gray, a dark gray, a white and a black are, are the minimum. And I'll tell you why. You have something large you want to shoot, like I grabbed, I went outside and I grabbed this little piece of a pine tree. I'd like to shoot that, but it's not going to look very good if I shoot it on that grid. So I need a background of some kind. So you can take something as simple as this background paper, lay it down there, let me just get this out of the way now. And you've got a really nice simple background. Now, this camera with the 35 millimeter lens is more than capable of shooting this. I can shoot almost a full meter across, but I can get this in one shot from the top to the bottom all in focus without stacking in a single shot with this system. And that's just why having a big piece of paper like this, this is great for such stuff like birds nests or, or, or small, small mammals, a little um, mammal skulls, that kind of thing. So you use your imagination, but you're going to need some paper. Uh, it's something every studio needs. Get a selection of it, get some gaffers tape and uh, have fun with it. This is a good thing.